Since its launch in late 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been rewriting humanity's understanding of the cosmos. But now, something has shifted. The most powerful observatory ever placed in orbit has captured phenomena so extraordinary, so unexplainable, that many of the world's leading scientists are calling it a crisis in physics. From galaxies that should not exist to possible signatures of life beyond Earth, Webb's discoveries are shaking the very foundations of science. What if everything we thought we knew about the origins of the universe was wrong? Stay with us, because what you're about to discover may forever change the way you look at the night sky. It began with faint whispers from the deep. Signals coming from galaxies that defied every expectation. In mid-2023, a team of astrophysicists analyzing Webb's deepest images identified three peculiar galaxies, unlike anything seen before. The light they emitted did not match the fingerprints of ordinary star formation. Instead, it pointed to the existence of something entirely new, dark stars. These theoretical objects, powered not by nuclear fusion but by the annihilation of dark matter, could have formed in the earliest days of the cosmos, swelling to sizes beyond comprehension. Some researchers now believe they may explain the mysterious abundance of black holes scattered throughout the universe. The disturbing truth is that dark matter makes up 85% of all matter in existence, yet we have no real understanding of it. If stars made of this invisible substance once burned across the heavens, then our story of stellar evolution may need to be rewritten from its very beginning. As Webb gathered more revelations, its gaze turned to a world orbiting a dim red dwarf star some 40 light years away. The planet, known as GJ1214b, had long been dismissed as too clouded, too hot, too alien for study. But Webb's infrared eyes pierced through its thick atmosphere and uncovered something astonishing. Vast clouds of water vapor swirled through its skies, and methane, often linked on Earth to biological activity, was also detected. The possibility emerged that this distant world might be entirely covered in oceans, an endless water planet circling a faint sun. Could such a place harbor life? For the first time, we are no longer speaking in speculation. Webb has begun revealing not only planets, but worlds that resemble our own in composition, climate, and perhaps even biology. And then came something even more unsettling. While peering into a galaxy at the farthest reaches of the observable universe, over 12 billion light years away, Webb detected complex organic molecules known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, the very compounds found in smoke on Earth and essential for the chemistry of life. These molecules existed at a time when the universe was still young, long before Earth itself had formed. Webb only glimpsed them thanks to the natural magnifying effect of gravitational lensing, in which massive cosmic structures bend and amplify light. The discovery suggests that the raw ingredients for life were present astonishingly early in the universe's history. If they were there from the beginning, then perhaps life itself is not rare at all. Perhaps it is inevitable. But the telescope's revelations grew stranger still. In a single day, Webb accomplished what once took the Hubble telescope nearly two weeks. And what it uncovered wasn't simply beautiful, it was unsettling. Among the ancient lights it captured were galaxies so massive, so well formed, that their very existence threatens the foundations of cosmology. By every model we know, galaxies should take billions of years to grow this large and complex. Yet Webb has found them existing just 600 million years after the Big Bang, some harboring black holes thousands of times more massive than the one at the heart of the Milky Way. It is as if the universe itself had fast-forwarded through its own evolution. This is the most puzzling collection of objects I've ever seen, confessed astronomer Joel Leia of Penn State. If our models can't explain them, then perhaps we've misunderstood the universe's beginning entirely. And then there was the spiral. Among Webb's images lies one of a nearly symmetrical spiral galaxy, so perfectly shaped, so balanced in form, 
that it seemed less like a natural structure and more like something sculpted. But the shock went deeper. Webb appeared to capture not just one version of the galaxy, but a duplicate, a mirror, slightly offset in space and time. Both galaxies displayed synchronized fluctuations in energy, identical redshifts, even matching star cluster movements. Gravitational lensing could distort images, yes, but it could not explain a perfect echo. Some scientists now wonder if we are seeing the first signs of overlapping realities, the fingerprints of a multiverse stitched into the very fabric of space-time. If that is true, then Webb is not merely a window into the past, it may be a window into parallel versions of existence itself. Webb's sensors also revealed something haunting in the death of a star. In early 2024, while observing a collapsing giant in the Carina Nebula, Webb recorded a low-frequency pulse unlike anything ever detected before. When translated into audible sound, it resembled a heartbeat, steady, rhythmic, deliberate. Stars usually collapse into black holes in chaos, spewing out erratic bursts of energy. But this one seemed to emit a patterned farewell, as if leaving behind a message written in vibration. Some dismissed it as coincidence. Others dared to ask if the universe itself was speaking in the final breaths of its dying suns. Meanwhile, as the data poured in, NASA turned to artificial intelligence to comb through the flood of information too vast for human eyes. After days of silent analysis, the system flagged something deeply unusual, a void. A region of space utterly empty, devoid of galaxies, stars, or dust. Voids are not rare, but this one was different. Within it was not emptiness but a spiraling gravitational distortion, bending space itself as though an invisible entity were moving within it. Older Hubble data had once hinted at the same anomaly, dismissed as noise. But Webb confirmed it. The AI gave it only one label, unknown entity, and perhaps the most disturbing revelation came when Webb mapped galaxies near the constellation Fornix. There, astronomers noticed a phenomenon that should be impossible. The redshift of distant galaxies, which should increase consistently with distance, did not follow the rules. Instead, in this small sector of space, the light signatures of galaxies appeared to grow younger the farther away they were. It was as if time itself had folded back, replaying reality out of order. Some physicists called it a time fold, like a wrinkle in the cosmic fabric. Others speculated about something even more unsettling, a glitch in the simulation of reality itself. Whatever it is, Webb may have just proven that time is not as stable or as linear as we once believed. And so here we stand, staring into a cosmos that no longer obeys the rules. The James Webb Space Telescope was meant to confirm our theories, to clarify the story of the Big Bang, to bring certainty to the unknown. Instead, it has torn up the script. From dark stars born of invisible matter, to oceans on alien worlds, to galaxies that should not exist, to echoes of other universes and the eerie pulse of dying suns, Webb is not simply showing us the universe. It is redefining it. And with artificial intelligence now finding patterns we cannot explain, gravitational ghosts we cannot classify, and distortions of time itself, the telescope has forced us to admit one thing. We are only at the beginning. The Webb was built to see farther than humanity has ever seen. But what it found may be farther than we are ready to believe. If this is what it has uncovered in just a few short years, then the next decade could bring discoveries that truly shatter our sense of reality. So what do you think? Has Webb broken science, or has it finally freed us from the limits we once mistook for truth? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to DISCOVERIA 2.0 because the next signal from the edge of the universe might just rewrite your world.